don't want, I don't want to forget that. People told me, I think you must think about equalization. You're in Alberta. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? I'm speaking about equalization in Quebec in French also. Yeah. But you know, Andrew Scheer, the conservative, they don't want to speak about that. Because they're doing focus group and polling, and maybe it's not popular in Quebec, it's not popular in New Brunswick, so they don't want to speak about it. For us, it's too important. We need to change the equalization formula. We need to have a formula that will be And, you know, it's not fair. I'm coming from Quebec, and actually, everything I've been saying tonight, I said that before in French. So, I'm not uh, speaking against my own province, and uh, I said that there in French. I said I'm not proud to be a Quebecers because we receive equalization money. And if we receive equalization money, it's because we are a poor province. And I want Quebec to be a richer province. Mm -hmm. I want Quebec, I want us not to receive any, any more equalization. I want us to just stop that. And the way to do that, first of all, is to change the formula. To have, in, to have a formula that will give incentive to provinces like my own province to develop their own natural resources. Yeah. Yeah. have a formula that would be less generous, that will give the right incentive to provinces. You know, we receive equalization money in Quebec since the beginning of that program, for half a century. Do you believe Quebec is a poor province no. since half a century, no. since 54, 50 years? Do you believe that? I don't believe that. We're not poor in Quebec. We're not poor. It's because of the formula. And we don't give an incentive. And actually, right now in Quebec, we have surplus, a trillion surplus. And we receive equalization money. Okay. Yes. So we need to give incentive to the Quebec government to develop other natural resources. Right now, the hydroelectricity, the energy from hydroelectricity, it is not part of the formula. But oil and gas, the energy from oil and gas, it is part of the formula. That's why we need to change that. And that's part of our program, we do that. Uh, and I can tell you, when I'm speaking about that in Quebec, they understand that. They're not proud also. So let's speak about it. Let's. Uh, uh, try to have a real debate with the other party, and we'll have that debate during election time for sure. <coughs> and speaking about Quebec, I want to speak about pipeline. <laughs> and I want to tell you, I want to tell you that it is not true. It is not true that Quebecers are against pipeline. Who is again against pipeline in Quebec? The elite politician at the provincial level. Yes. That's only that. That's only that. Quebecers understand after the big tragedy that we had in Quebec in Lake Legante. Remember that the train that uh, came in the uh, in the small village over there. It was a huge tragedy. Quebecers understand that it's safer to transport oil and gas by pipeline than by train, and they understand also. They're smart. They understand also that it's safer for the environment, but also it's safer for the population. And they want to buy their oil and gas from Canada. So when you are listening Quebec politicians at the provincial level, they don't represent the chemicals. And I can tell you that when I'm speaking for pipeline in Quebec, and they know that that will create jobs in Montreal, that will create jobs in New Brunswick. They know that, and therefore pipeline, and we must educate our politicians, and we will do it. <laughs>